And for one first responder in the Grand Junction Police Department, this spring marked 33 years working in and protecting our community. Now, Kyra, I actually caught up with Corporal Bob Culver to look back at more than three decades on the job. You know, the people say it's for the service, and I, I think that's true, but it's something deeper in you that it's what you want to do, you want to make a difference. Thousands join the police force every year hoping to make a difference in their communities. But few can say they've made as much of a difference as Corporal Bob Culver, who's been serving the Grand Junction community for more than three decades. That, I think, helps you grow that community. A feat made more amazing when you learn he hadn't lived in Grand Junction until he joined the Grand Junction Police Department. I took a job as a criminal investigator or special agent with the Immigration and Naturalization Service. After spending some time in Los Angeles, the Denver-born Culver wanted to come back to the Centennial State. At the time, there wasn't a lot of uh, police jobs available and uh, Grand Junction uh, had a testing. There was no jobs available when I tested. But six months later, an opening came up and the rest is history. Well, when you say memorable things, there could be a lot of different categories of that. I was a SWAT guy for almost 19 years. I was a detective for about five. Um, I've done field training for decades. Um, taught at the academy for like 13 years. In that time, he's seen just about everything in Grand Junction, from the pipe bombing at the Grand Junction Convention Center to the shooting at Eastgate City Market. Just about every major incident that's gone on in 30 years I've been around. While Culver is proud of the SWAT team and investigative work in his past, he told me the work he's done to directly improve our community in recent years stands out more. Probably my favorite time has been this last few years. We really try to have that collaborative effort and so being involved in that and trying to make a difference there and help people feel good and have a good community means a lot to me. Now he's hanging up his badge, something his family is happy to see. Absolutely happy because now I don't have to really worry about him when things are happening, calls, wondering if it might be something bad that he has to go to. And and so what do you guys think he'll do with all this uh, free time now? Motorcycles and uh, hanging out with his grandson. Uh, he loves that kid. Before he can get to enjoy his retirement, the First Responder Benefit Association gave him a proper send-off. There's so many reasons for us to celebrate. He has protected, served, and gave his life to us. Those are the stories that we want to tell. And if we just focus on the darkness, then we won't be able to see that spark. Enjoy your retirement, Corporal Culver. First on the Western Slope, Michael Loggerwell, KREX 5 News. The now former Cor Corporal Bob Culver told us despite his retirement, he'll still be involved in the community, just not with GJPD. That was a great pa uh, package, Michael. Thank Very you, good. Tyra. Didn't leave me with any questions. And for more information on the First Responder Benefit Association or Bob Culver's story, you can visit westernslopenow.com.